earlier this week. We told you the governor is directing $50 million to help working parents stay in the workforce while their children are learning from home. It's the idea behind the Strong Families, Strong Students grant program. Families with three kids could receive up to $3,500. Right now, our newsroom is committed to keeping you and your family informed throughout the COVID-19 pandemic so we can all bounce back together. Our Madeline White is continuing the Rebound Idaho coverage, speaking with some working parents to hear their reactions. While each parent's situation is a little different, the common messaging I heard across the board is that parents, especially working ones, really need some help right now. I'm just in survival mode. Heidi Myers and her husband have five kids, ranging from a kindergartner to a high school sophomore. They also run an acai bowl and smoothie business in Boise's North End, which opened just a handful of months before the pandemic. Things were just starting to look really bright, um, like beginning of March, and then it was just like night and day, and just business shut off. I mean, pretty much, you know, March was scary, but, you know, things are looking up for sure, but the amount of stress is definitely taking its toll on me. She says there are, of course, some days when she has to be on site managing the business, but being away while the kids are at home, she says, is really hard. Oh, my goodness. The mother guilt is terrible for me. So much mommy guilt that, like, I've just cried so many, so many tears that I feel like a terrible mom. She says a nanny would help, but child care costs in Idaho are too high. As I've reported, an estimate for the Boise area on care.com shows full-time nannies currently cost single-child families roughly $15 an hour. That's $2,400 per month. Add four kids to that and... Honestly, truthfully, I can't afford a nanny. Still, Heidi says the $3,500 she might be eligible to receive next month would help them. Like if I ha hired some help to help me on those days that I need to be at the store, you know, yeah, it probably it probably would help. It definitely would help. The other goal of the Strong Families, Strong Students program is to help students be successful. It's a nice gesture, but it's not meaningful. We already have the devices from the school district. Dana Anderson, a working mother of two we spoke to, says student success comes at a higher cost with remote learning. Anything meaningful would involve some sort of child care or tutoring for families who have decided to be virtual. And 3000 per family doesn't even cut it. That's a drop in the bucket. And she and her husband have dual income, so she worries about others who may not be as privileged. Like how many lower income families and students or students of color that are completely being left behind? The State Board of Education will draw out the guidelines which will prioritize disadvantaged families. Applications open next month. Madeline White, Idaho News 6.